I like that class better, right? It's a little big and you guys are on the floor. Uh, searching for Harry Potter wand. We have studied sex, right? Okay. You have to draw the Venn diagram. Fine. What problem you want to do? How much are you? Venn diagram. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, compliment you guys have understood. What a compliment is. Okay. Uh, draw the Venn diagram. Or complement of A. It's very simple. Right? How how Oscar, can you come for a minute? Just come. See, the thing is, just set up. Just if it is that side, that will be better. Because you have to pull wire from here, and the uh, wire is also coming like this. So, if I'm sitting standing this way, so you leave it for now. For now, let it can you do that? Is that possible? Today, leave it for today. We can, we can do it now. Okay, you have to charge it. Twenty five percent is enough. Now. I think it will. No, oh, don't worry. I'll take only one other. Not more than that. Uh, after this, Raghav is taking class, right? So he will take on iPad. Right? Dude, done. Compliment of it. So you don't 
need here you know, that means what you have only one set here right that space and you have to draw the complement that means universal set okay that means this one fine show me your don't don't cut i, I have seen i saw you. that means see here complement of a is universal set here for this problem it is universal set right how come it's not correct right why you guys agree with me see the thing is we start agreeing with our instructors for agreeing with our instructors then we can agree or disagree if i if i'm wrong so that is i'm wrong you should you should pay attention to what i have asked that this is set a fine complement of a is this that is it is u minus a right it's not u here because u is what this whole is u i'll use a different color this whole is u right including a okay so we got That, that's what I, I was afraid that you you can also draw so many subjects. No? How does it matter? It doesn't matter. Okay, so that is complement of. I have. Let's do some proof also. What do you think? Okay, I forgot. I forgot the page. Mathematics book. We have. So, how much of the syllabus has been covered in your book, uh, in your school? Okay, so see the thing is. Uh, Keep it in. <laughs> okay. Which which class? Twelfth standard. Okay, that's. Just don't. Uh, we 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 have found right. Uh, we have no, not a question. Let's use. So we know this thing for two sets. Okay, what we know. If we have two sets A and B, what do we know about this? A union B is equal to A plus B minus A intersection. Fine. That means now if we write in terms of elements, that is, we can just put N. Okay. And B means number of elements in B, number of elements in A, number of elements. Okay, to visualize you can also write like this. Suppose uh, A union B, so A B C. All right. Can you see this here? Now A B C. What is C? C is A intersection B, right? C. So N A intersection B is what? C. Fine. Any any problem so far? Now what? 
no no not n brackets these are elements of n these are small these are elements number of like five ten just a number okay yeah it is actually element like okay i i got your problem what you are saying okay so like you have five elements here three elements here and two elements here okay i'm talking literally about the elements like in forest how many number of trees are there so these are number of trees means like that i'm talking about it's not i'm not writing in terms of steps when you are writing n that represents how many number of steps uh, how many number of elements are there in that set okay that's why we are putting n there 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 and so n a intersection b is how many elements are there two elements so can i erase it now and write in terms of variable is that will that be okay ha huh? inshallah will that be okay ha uh ha -huh. tell me okay yeah ha uh ha -huh. tell me draw another venn diagram See when I'm drawing this, when I'm writing this, a, b. These are sets. Okay, these are two sets. Like in the universe, this is Earth, and that is Mars or Jupiter or Saturn. Now I'm saying that Saturn has 28 moons. I don't think that will make sense. 30, 60, 68, yeah, something. 60. Okay, just leave Saturn. Let's come to our forest. Okay, so uh, why you are late? You never let that, and you change your clothes also. And pants the same, and shoes same. Watch, that was difference. Okay, see here. Now there are these, and this these sets can have some elements. Let's say in A we have A is a set. right so it has elements uh, like a b c okay these are the three elements in this set in this set now i'm saying in set b we have how many elements means uh, sorry what are the elements in set b let's say e f g a c okay fine now if uh, now see when i'm writing n a see the difference okay see the difference n a is what can ha huh? 3 yes okay got it now you are understanding the difference see when i'm just writing uh, set so we'll write the elements of the set and when i'm saying n a that means how many numbers of elements are there in that set okay like how many numbers of chairs are there in this room like that how many numbers of tables are there in this room how many numbers of 11 standard students are there in this room okay so that is now if we we are saying like these are the number of chairs chairs are both students and so these are number of students and these are number of chairs okay so then n b will be a how much you tell me goshal babu n b is five because there are five five elements in there okay now these five elements i can write i can write uh, like how many elements are here now tell me first a intersection b how many a and c right that means if i write n a intersection b that will be how much two okay now how i will represent this in terms of a venn diagram we can write now, now in a let's write the elements in a so a b c first let's start with middle one because it's common in both right So in middle A and E will be the C or E C. Okay, so this is C, right? Come join us. You can sit here. Sit here. No. Okay. So A C sign here. Okay. Now now tell me what is left. 
in a what what all the elements are there a b and c so a and c already we have included in a can you see this already a and c we have included so what is the main what will be there here only b okay now what will be there in uh, set b e f g have you understood now what i am doing in this above diagram i'm just directly writing there three elements like three elements here two elements two elements here instead of five uh, there are, there is only one element now you understood what i was trying to write so uh, now see if these two diagrams if you compare then these are the three, three elements that are like i am writing as number of elements okay and that number of elements you can also represent in terms of variables to so some to solve it in terms of variables because uh, two years in covid you must not have solved anything in terms of variables most of the syllabus you have skipped that got i am informed okay so i have we are assuming that you guys know a lot of things like how to solve quadratic equation in 10 minutes right how can you take 10 minutes yeah, to solve a quadratic equation? how is that possible how how did that magic came from that form form is Hey, open your tapes. Open your curtain. Open your tapes. Take oxygen. Keep it. Keep it inside. Are you? You are already very smart. You don't have to get that. What happened? Something? Nothing? Come sit here. Come in front. You are. Uh, one day I will make a set up. One day I will do that. You'll see the magic. You will come, sir. I want to say that. Yes, please. One day it will happen. Like one day you'll be able to solve all the problems. What living already? You can come from here, no? I asked this guy to come and say that. Now she's like, no, 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 no. Okay, so whose pen is this? How it came on my? I picked it up. Happy birthday. Okay, so shall we do one problem based on this? Uh huh. No. Uh um. Okay. So we know this thing. A union B is what? Huh? What is A union B? How how do we write in terms of if we have two for, uh, sets, joint sets, not disjoint? For disjoint set, biology. For disjoint set, what is A intersection? What is this part of two disjoint sets? Null set. Very good. So just study. I thought you were studying only biology. Ah, who cares about math? Okay, so A union B, what is it? How do we write in terms of A? Did I ask? Uh -huh. Yeah, formula. What is formula? Don't say that. Yeah, tell me the formula. Is this correct? Because we are writing number of elements. Okay. Okay. Before we uh, before we move forward, I, I just want to equivalent sets have I covered equivalent sets? Okay. Equal sets we have covered, right? Means all the elements like uh, this classroom and that classroom will be equal. Suppose these are two sets, this classroom and that classroom. Okay, where we used to sit, uh, where I used to stand. Yes, that means all the same number, same chairs. If you pick these chairs and put there, 
okay these students this this thopra there if you put then only it will be same set otherwise it will not be a same same set okay so now that is equal set now equivalent set is okay, right equivalent set equivalent e q u i v a now what is a or e huh a e right a okay right a equivalent very good in english grammar right right e a whatever you want we are learning mathematics not english okay so ask your english teacher what is the correct okay so equivalent can anyone of you explain what is equivalent set is what is the meaning of equivalent set goshal babu one word to the subject We forgot that we have passed. See the thing is, uh, if you guys are not comfortable, just everyone bunk the class together. Okay, it it should not be like only two or of you are coming and I'm moving ahead and so on. That will not be very good for you know. Just discuss among yourself. Okay, we don't want to have passed. Okay, I don't know. Uh, anybody is there online? No, no. Oh, you guys are there. <laughs> you guys are there. Here, sir. Oh, you are able to hear me, sir. Okay, it's like we're talking to dinosaurs. Okay. So, uh, do do you guys are you guys understanding what I'm? So you should have told me, you no? Know, nobody said anything. D A V, you are there, sunshine. Only me, sir. Hari Haran. Oh, sir, sunshine. Huh? Sir. Okay. Okay. Sunshine is there. Okay. Yeah, I thought nobody is there. So, if you want to bunk the class, Sunshine, just text in the group and make make a group of yourself, and uh, we don't want to have class here. Master, come here. Uh, can you give me that one mathematics book for now, just for now? Ah, uh, yeah, just for now. Not that. What you are looking into that? Okay, so can we will discuss equivalent set, but first find out this. How you will find out this? A. I was about to do, but thirty minutes alone. Just uh, the first set. Can anyone find this? What will be A union B? Venn diagram. Okay, all these sets are joint sets. They are not discrete. Non-empty sets. Um, I don't want you to draw. I want you to uh, write like this. Write the formula. Formula of which acid? Write it. Sunshine, can you do that? Yes, sir. Wait, sir. Doing, sir. Yeah, I am waiting for you only. what can you do first tell me how you will proceed see of course you can see that in your book but you should know how can any one of you derive this can any do you know how to derive this ha huh? you can how do it in your own book See, it's not about learning formulas. Okay, Sunshine. It's about knowing how you reach that formula. That's why I hate the word formula because people keep repeating. Uh, you have to memorize this, that, and all those shit. Oh, sorry, you didn't hear that. See, I keep talking like that, and people think I'm a bad person. You think that, right? All the time. Sorry. Anyway, can any one of you derive this? 
好，兄。It's very simple, right? You just have what when you are writing x square, what does it mean? X multiplied by x, right? So that's how you can derive all the funders. It's not just this one. It's a very simple example that you must have been studying since sixth standard, I suppose. Quadratic equation started in sixth standard. Right? Eighth standard, and two years you haven't learned anything. Wow. Okay, no, it's 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 never your fault. It's always the fault of some somebody else, right? That's that's human nature because we don't want to take responsibility. See, the thing is, I'll tell you one thing. Whatever reason you give, I, I won't. I'm not going to entertain you with that. The thing is, you should take responsibility. Okay, in any situation, the moment you accept that it's your mistake, then you will improve yourself. Otherwise, if you 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 keep you know uh, putting someone in front for uh, your mistakes, don't do that. Whatsoever the problem was, COVID, this, that, that will that will keep coming in your life. You cannot push it back, right? You should not do that. Okay. Now, how you will do that, Sunshine? You understood? Can you repeat that, sir. Ninety-seven point three two out. Can you hear me? Now I can hear you, sir. Uh, can you uh, can you do this one? This sir, uh, that x n a union b union c sir. Huh? A n into a sir sir a union b union c. A ah uh, okay okay do that. Guys, any one of you, how you will cross it? How you will cross it? You use this one only, the first one. Use that. I just flip here. Show me. See, the thing is here. Listen here. In this first equation, you have a and b. Fine. Now, what you do? Just assume a union b to be x or any other dummy variable. Okay. So then, what this will become? X union c. Now you know how to write this. It's union C. What will be the this? N X plus N C minus N X intersection C. Now instead of X, substitute a union B. Good. Sunshine understood? Yes, sir. Understood. Yeah. Let this. See, I, I know I haven't uh, given you a operating formula for this. Right? Set operations in which we discuss the distributive law, commutative law, and all those. So first, I want you to solve like this. Okay, first solve these things, and those formulas will be easier. That those those laws are not formulas. Sorry. Okay. Then, when you are substituting instead of x, now now how can we write this? This is only a union b union c, right? I'm not writing n here. Okay, let's write n. Fine. This is it, no? Any any problem here? This is correct. So. Again, we can write this as n x is what here from here. Uh huh. A union b, right? Plus c x is what a intersection b. 
सॉरी ए यूनियन बी नो सॉरी ए यूनियन बी इंटरसेक्शन सी दिस इज फाइन सो फार एवरीथिंग इज फाइन नो ना यू नो दिस ऑल्सो what you you are just simplifying this stuff you are simplifying everything now so you know this thing and we will learn how to solve this also okay first expand this we'll go step by step total we'll solve each and every what you can write this is already here no? question number 1 what can you write this past what happened tell done everyone so what is this n a plus n b minus intersection b plus n c minus n a union yeah what what was that fine now how how we are going to expand this one how can we do that in any idea okay we'll see that how how do you know that how can you say that see see equate this as equation number 3 write it down equation number now we'll come to our laws okay in laws then so see set operation set operation follow some of the laws in which one of the law is de morgan's law have you heard of it okay there are distributive law what is distributive law anyone so distribute chocolates to everyone ha huh? ha huh? sir sir that for distributed because that will do one or two problems i i think that will be better so let's write down i forgot the two first question yeah that is very good sunshine you there i am here sir i understood sir yeah i keep forgetting that you are already there okay see you have we have equated this to equation number 3 fine now we have we we need to understand how to solve this thing oi everyone why you are what what is happening i'm talking to sunshine and to, to you guys also so this we need to understand how to solve okay now we have reached till uh, this far now yeah you have in doubt So why you are raising all that? What was that? Okay, let's do some of the problems to understand how to solve this. Thing. Okay, so first problem will be. I don't know. Okay, draw the Venn diagram. Write down. Draw the Venn diagram.
of number a a union a ah. sunshine you understood you have to draw the venn diagram okay yes sir yes sir a union a don't worry this is only the first problem this is easier the, uh, in the beginning i used to give very uh, i'm used to giving you very easy problems so. biology attack kar do done so what what will be a union a it will be a right so i do i need to draw the venn diagram as just a only sir okay b a subset a what is this yeah of course so you you don't need to write this okay let's number c uh a is a subset of sorry not belongs to a subset a union b what is this is this true or false do i need to give elements biology show me how sunshine this is subset okay yes sir this is subset okay a is a subset of i'm saying i'm giving you a statement a is a subset of a in arp i can't hear you sir i'm saying that i'm giving you a statement that is c a is a subset of a union b so i'm asking whether it is true or false true or false just tell me true or false true true false true sir third option shall i give biology true or false okay so we have got two this Two two brain twins. Sunshine. Yes, uh, sir. Is it true or false? I said, sir, true, sir. True. Okay. So three two. Three of you are saying true. Two are wiggling, and one is false. Why it is false? Subset of B. Okay, but it cannot be subset of A. Shit. Okay, is true. Is it true or false? Explain. Yes. Both will be. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, you 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 are trying to pictureize me the Venn diagram, right? Okay. Ah, then then it, that means it is a part of it. You understood? See, let's draw the Venn diagram. Then we will understand. that's what you are trying to show right so this is a and b now when we are writing a a union b okay what is a union b for everything right this is a union b now a is a subset of this one b is also a subset of this a union b fine any doubt see whenever you are having doubts in this set and uh, this chapter You just draw the Venn diagram. If you know how to draw the, uh, if you know how to represent your problem in Venn diagram, it will be very easy for you to understand. Okay. Of course, it will take some time to get used to it. The thing is, you have to practice a little. Just a little. Rajiv practice right all the time. Huh? Hot water. You have you are you are not supposed to eat sweets and all like that. Is it? Uh huh. Eat everything. That's why you are having coffee. You only explain. Okay. Next statement. See, in this process, we will learn how to solve this. Okay. How to solve this equation number three. Okay. Next statement. B is a subset of A intersection C. Ah. 
among all these three louder which one is see, 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 her, her graph her voice pitch is like this among all these three ah uh, among all among all these three which one is the formula for what no 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 sunshine listen to me uh, she is asking among all these three which one is the formula right so all are correct only right uh-huh. yes sir yes yes the thing is this this last part we still need to solve we can solve this this is also correct you can leave up to here also but the thing is in the problems what we are going to face the problems we are not going to have this okay we will be having in terms of a b and c on yeah yeah uh, or the combination of two okay so when we are solving a equation let's say x plus 2 x square minus 1 is equal to 0 okay this is a quadratic equation right now when you are writing the next step okay if you take x common here 1 plus 2 x minus 1 is equal to 0. this is only just same thing right this is the same thing we are just writing in a different method to uh, to get, uh, to make the equation easier fine so we are doing the same thing here we just need to learn how to solve this thing this the i have, I, i don't know how many times i have underlined this so this is the process i have chosen to make you understand this maybe it, it, it is a long process but you will learn a lot of things here if you stay awake of course all right ha huh, so this d d sunshine any comments on d d sir yeah this this option this one ha uh, i'm asking you guys also biology you are not answering pick up ha three elements are there but what's the relation between them right so the thing is it can be it is possible uh, if if just the question is true or false that time you can say no matter because because it can be true or it can be false right we don't know what c is isn't it it's not nothing is given right i have just said d and b are two joint sides okay i haven't mentioned anything about c see for this problem i have mentioned a b and c are all three are joint sides okay that means a intersection b intersection c a intersection b intersection c is a subset of a b as well as c in this in this problem okay in this, for this problem so if you draw the venn diagram for this three circles you are drawing so it will be like this or this part that is a intersection b intersection c is a subset of all a b c right and we are going to Uh, explore it how how we can simplify this okay so what 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 can what is the answer for this one it can be true or it can be false okay puro the Just give me a minute. Okay, let's write down operation of set and uh, operation of set. We we need to solve this, no? We need to solve this. So we, uh, before that, we'll study these things also. Operation of sets. So let's write some of the laws. Operation. So we have already said in this right laws. set law okay so some of the laws are first number 1 right this uh, commutative law right down what is commutative law 
yes yes a plus b is, is equal to b plus a okay now if we write in terms of union a plus so it will be a union b is equal to b union a very good yes good so you you have studied this in which which standard eight biology you know this thing right a a plus b is equal to b plus a that is called which law yes next is write down uh before distributive let's no no let, let's write down uh, this associative uh i don't know if the spelling i, I have Associative law. Okay. Now for associative law, that means we are associating to we are including one more term. Okay, more members we are adding. Okay, in associative law. So a plus b plus c. That either we can do first add a plus b and then add c, or what we can do we can add a plus c and then we can add b, or we can what we can do we can add b plus c and then we can add a to that. Is it confusing? It's fine, right? It's it's just just write down them. So associative law, you can write A union B union C with C is equal to A union with B union C. See, we are not changing the order here, right? Order is not changed, here. but you can change the order also. You will get the same result. Either you can write. um uh, a union c union b will be equal to a union b union c that is also fine okay i'm not writing the second one just write the first one what other law is there see distributive law now all always we cannot follow this because multiplication will come in the picture okay and we haven't studied multiplication of sets uh what's his name sunshine hello Sir, Mr. Sunshine, sir. yeah, can you hear me? You sir. are understanding this, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Number three, uh, we have studied about this complement, right? Complement we have studied. So complement of A is what? U minus A. That's what in the beginning I told you. Okay. Now, what is complement of complement? Can you draw the Venn diagram for this? complement of complement u minus c stand up now this this, this guy will represent you the a a a concept this is that a Ah, is inside the universal set. Okay, fine. Now complement of A is what? Everyone other than now is that the complement of that complement? Are they trying to include this one? Right. That means A is what? Complement of complement. Complement of complement of the set is that set itself. Okay. So draw the Venn diagram. So complement of complement is that same set, right? Let's draw the Venn diagram. You will understand from this. If this is A, right? So what will be A complement? Everything other than A. Fine. Everything other than A. So this will. Oh, uh, this is A complement. This is A. Fine. Now I'm saying complement of complement. That means other than everything, this other than this. So again, it will be what this a complement of a. Biology any problem? Go solve, Babu. All clear? Taking sprite every time. You are taking sprite. So how can it be clear all the time? So we are not. Can you speak up? See the thing is, when we speak up, we are 
piece up, then only we learn a lot. You see, the, the doubts in our head, it will get clarified when we speak up. Okay? So this is fine. So far, everything is good. Now what is left? Power, power of a set, I think. Power set. That, that is just the combination of the second You are not going to use it. But uh, let's see if we have any other property. So similarly, can we write for intersection? Huh? Like, like, like here. If I'm putting minus, is that, that is correct? Yes or no? It's not correct. Right? But in case of intersection, this, this is all the union case, right? In case of intersection. See. Now, th this part is what? If I'm saying this is set A, this is B. So this will be A intersection B. Now, will A intersection B, does it follow commu uh, commutative law? A intersection B is equal to B intersection A, right? Write down. So A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. Okay. You understood, Sunshine? This is not listening now. This is stop everything. Okay. So it's not your device. Huh? Now again, see, in, this is in case of union, we, we were studying associative law. Now associative law, will, will it follow? See, in union, it follows this. It, this is also true in union. But will this be true in case of intersection? Yes or no? Yeah, see. see let's see. Number second. Let's write down associative. So A intersection B intersection C. Let's not write like this. Sorry. A intersection B intersection with C. So can we write like this? A intersection B intersection C. Shall we draw Venn diagram for the AP? You will understand. Fine. Now let's let's write down the elements A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Fine. These are the elements that uh, that these sets are happening. I mean, these sets are. Okay. So, uh, what is A intersection? B intersection. C. Which part is A intersection? C. This is A. This is B, and this is. So which part is A? Which part, which which number is there in A? Only D. Only D. Yes. Only D is right, Sanshan. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Only D is the common part. So sir. if you take A uh, first, let's draw. So now I'll I'll draw this same Venn diagram. Okay, same Venn diagram here for A intersection. So A intersection. See here, 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 here. Just just give me five minutes. A intersection B is what? Sunshine, what is the number of element in A intersection B? Which, which questions are B and D? Right? Okay, repeat. B and D. Fine? Any doubt? Okay. Now, B intersection C. What are the elements? B and C. Which element is common in C as well as C? F and D. Is this not right? Sir. Sir. B intersection C, right? Okay, okay. So, so all D and F are there. D and F. Fine. Any problems? So far, everything is good. Okay. Now, if you take this A intersection, B, that means what is this part? Intersection with which part? C. Now, if you take intersection with which part, what do you have? Okay. Which element is there in uh, A? A 
A intersection B, right? B D you have C here. B D you have. Now, if you take intersection B, it's part. Which element is part? That is the right here. C is having which element? We are taking intersection with C. So C is having which element? E, D, F, and G. Fine. Now we are taking intersection of this and this. We are taking intersection of this and this. So which element is common? Only D is there, right? So A intersection B. Intersection with C will be equal to D. Only D is there. So this is your LHS. This is the left hand side that we have solved for this one. Now for the right hand side, now what we have A. So what are the elements of A? Sunshine, tell me. What are the elements of A? A, B, D, E. Fine. Now what, what are the elements of? We have to take intersection with B, C. You tell me, what are the elements? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. B and C, which which are there? B and C. D F, right? We have already written it as D F. Now we we need to find A intersection with B intersection C. Biology. What is this? See now we are taking intersection with this and this. That means we need the common element which is there in this and this. Which is the common element? D. So L H S and R H S are same. Understood? Now you understood how Venn diagram will make a nice picture, huh? Yes or no? It, it's easy, right? So to uh, to understand any law, so whatever law is there in your book, you can just draw the Venn diagram and mark it like that. You can draw as many number of sets as you want. It, it doesn't matter. But if you can understand the three, this uh, set of three combination of three sets, then you can solve all the problems. For your, uh, I think three sets are uh, only required. Okay, so work out a little bit in your home. You are not studying. You are not doing problems. That that's not not how it works. So next time when I come, I want you to solve exercise exercise one two complete. If you have any doubt, you just let me. Uh, we can discuss in class. Sunshine, you are hearing? Huh? Yes, sir. So your homework will be. How do you derive? How to make it? How to derive this one? Where is where is this one? This a interest a union b intersection c, right? A union b intersection c. Okay, you have to. Okay, sir. Uh, you have to simplify this. Simplify this. Okay, you have to simplify uh, simplify this and hence, right? What is A union B union C? Fine. I know it's there, the formula is there in the book, but I want you to derive this. If you can derive, you can use the Venn diagram. You can give your explanation from Venn diagram. I don't have any problem with it. Because if you can understand the Venn diagram, that means you have understood the formula. Okay. Ah, Goshal Babu, speak up. Yes. Okay. Next is next homework is your. Okay. Before before I leave the class, uh, let's do shall we do one problem for exercise? I have to track some work. Okay. So this is from page number fifteen of your this uh, study material. Okay. Question number one. What is it? A survey shows that 63% of the people watches news A, news uh, watches a news channel, whereas 76% watches another channel. Do you have book? You don't have the book. Huh? Okay, write down. Write down. A survey shows. That 63% of the people watch a news channel. What? Whereas, whereas 76% watch 
another channel like sports channel if x percent of the people books channel then find x find x we need to find x so this is question from page number 15 okay ncert exam exemplar exemplar what is that okay so how do we solve this we know set a right and a is given and a is given in the problem that is how many how much amount okay 60 and v is let me write it properly and and anything else x percent right and a intersection b is also given x percent and we need to find x how do we do that these are the uh, these are given in the problem right so how do we solve this So use that same formula that we have. That we derived for two sets or two joint sets. Write down A union B is equal to what? Write down. Biology, tell me. What is A union B? A plus B. Uh huh. Minus. And A intersection B, correct. But we don't know what is this, right? We don't know this thing, do we? We don't have this thing. But percentage of any verb, percentage cannot uh, of probability. You have to use probability chapter. Study probability in so probability cannot be more than one, right? So in percentage, that is hundred percent, right? Anything cannot be more than hundred percent. Just use your brain. It's it's your senses, right? Because it and nothing can be greater than hundred. In mathematics, definitely you can get hundred and two percent or twelve percent or five hundred percent increase in some price or something. But actually, uh, means uh, the action cannot be greater than uh, more than hundred percent, right? Any action cannot be greater than hundred percent. That means your union is somehow defined there. Not exactly, but somehow it is defined. There. so you will not get the value exact value of x but you will get a range of 39 how yes yes correct do it do it do it see a union b will always be lesser than or equal to 100 fine now just put this this is common sense this one you have to use it You have to use it by yourself, right? A union B will be always lesser than equal to how much? Because percentage cannot be greater than hundred, right? This is, is this thing you are understanding or not? Oh, that guy is also there. Sunshine. Hello, sir. Ma'am, is this statement uh, clear? Can you do what, sir? See, uh, uh, what I was speaking, you heard it, right? Yes, sir. So what I'm saying is, percentage cannot be greater than hundred. So that means the maximum and a, sorry, and a union b should be always uh, lesser than or equal to hundred. It cannot be more than hundred, right? So that yes, means sir. we have got. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Understood, yeah. sir. Now, can you find this? Sir. What? Thirty-nine percent. What? Oh. Uh, Thirty-nine percent. See here, it is greater than right. So just substitute, no. Uh, how how you will write it here? This is this is lesser than hundred. So if you put that, you have to put lesser than symbol, right? This value, this value is lesser than this. Uh huh. Lesser or equal to right? So how, what you will get? Intersection. What you will get? Should be greater than or equal to thirty nine percent. 
because when there is a negative sign see okay let's understand one is lesser than two see here what i'm just giving you very basic examples one is what lesser than two minus one minus two i multiplied minus two both sides what will happen which is greater which is greater? the symbol changes right same thing is happening here also Okay, you guys have not studied inequalities, right? That's what you have said. Okay. I was judging you guys from your action. So, is this thing clear? It will be greater than equal to thirty-nine. Have you reached this, or you have any doubt? Pakka, show me your notebook. That's not how we do. See, it's not about completing syllabus. See, if you are not understanding, just let me know. See, uh, guys, this is mo most important. It's not like we don't have time to study. Okay, we can always have uh, more time for think of more time for a particular topic. It's not about just finishing the syllabus and finishing your book. You will not understand it. We should not be studying like that. So the this is okay. Let's put it here. So. <clears throat> N A union B is lesser than equal to hundred. So we'll substitute this value here. So let's write. This is greater than equal to N A plus N B minus N A intersection. That's what I'm writing this this thing only here. After substituting this value, okay? Right. Oh, so sorry. After substituting this value, uh, we substituted this here and we are writing it. Because n a union b is lesser than equal to hundred, so hundred is uh, and hundred will be greater than this value. This entire thing, fine. Oh, you are not able to see that. Right? So uh, now n a and n b are also given. N a and n b is there. So hundred minus yeah, so one minute. Uh, n a will be how much? N a is sixty three. Minus no, we are taking everything this side. That's correct. So minus, how much? Seventy six is greater than or equal to minus n a intersection b. So this is how much? Minus thirty nine. Yes. Minus thirty nine. No. Minus thirty nine is greater than or equal to minus n a intersection b. And just now I showed you example minus one. Will be greater than minus two. Fine. So if we multiplied minus both sides, what will happen? The equality sign will change. So thirty nine will be what lesser than equal to something is wrong. No, see here. So N A intersection. Okay, that's how we reach here. Okay. Fine. Understood. Okay. This is one part. First part. And second part is your homework. Okay, so I'll stop the class here. You, you, have, you guys have physics class also, right? This is supposed to be an extra class, but uh, next week we won't meet. After that, uh, next to next uh, Monday, we'll again resume from there itself. Please do assign. Uh, please do your homework. Okay, please do that. And Sunshine, you are hearing, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, you have to do the. You have to solve the second part of this problem. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir.